Welcome to a new video on Tremble Virtual World. Today we are releasing the version 2.10. So let's look at a couple of new features, mainly around the creator mode. So let's create a new quest and jump right into it. In this new version, we have integrated the 3D warehouse directly inside the virtual world. So you can browse and find models that interest you and can be used for your quest. Once imported, find them in your prop selection. Because your model might be far away from your origin point, we have also integrated a new transform to switch between pivot and center points. This can be useful for large coordinates like photogrammetric model, which are quite often registered into a large coordinate system. Inside the Quest Creator, we have integrated a new functionality, Interactive Prop. This allows you to interact with any model that you place in this environment. You can decide, is it a fixed model or an interactive model? So how does that look like in the real world? When you walk close to a prop which is interactable, you can pick them and place them. One which is not, will not have the system. So now let's look at a new functionality. We have integrated an importer and converter for Trimbeam. Some specific format file will need to have the converter also installed. So remember to install them before to use the functionality. We have not tested all of them. So we rely on you to give us feedback on which one works and which one doesn't. This is a, still a beta version and we are looking for feedback. For example, in this one, I have imported a photogrammetric model, which was oriented with the wrong X, Y, and Z direction. Using the transform, I can reorient it. This model is directly converted to a TRB file. Look at the rendering. It looks perfect in this world. Now, we can create our own quest and automatically start to immerse yourself in just a couple of clicks. As we said, the converter allows you to create a TRB file. You can find this file inside your folder, quest folder. Let's look at another feature. We have now announced the Earth map configuration to integrate the ArcGIS map SDK. That means you are able to import any layer that you have with your current account, Esri account. So let's look at this. I'm now able to use a quest and use the Earth map um, model. Using the lat long and elevation, I will be teleported on the Esri map. Like before, I'm now able to create and unknown this world with my own prop. Here is the 3D warehouse that I imported earlier. We have created as well a new uh, announcement inside the event. Now you can import image, but also video. The video will be played directly inside the quest event. What does that look like? Let's review that inside a real quest. I'm going to import a quest that I've already created. Jump in the car and go to the first event of my quest. My first event is just using an image, while my second event uses a video that I have embedded inside.
Let's start placing objects and use as well the prop event system, interactive system that we have integrated. Do you remember we use Esri and the ETRB Converter to create amazing rendering quests? This quest will be available for you later for training purposes. Thank you, see you next time.